there's a hundred and four days of summer vacation. <laughs> <laughs> school comes along just to end it. Yes. So the annual problem mm-hmm. for our generation mm-hmm. is finding a good way to spend it. Like maybe. That's how I know you really watch the show, bro. Me a climbing up the Eiffel Tower. Hey, in summer, bro. Discovering something that doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. Hey, I've seen the whole thing. Don't have to see the whole thing, really. Or locating Frankenstein's brain. That's kind of weird. Finding a little bird. Painting a continent. We didn't have to get that far. I love Phineas and Ferb, man. I know a couple people that look like that. But anyway. Welcome back to another episode of Wood Name is Podcast later. <laughs> oh, cool ranch ass. Who the cool ranch? That's funny. Nah, because of, of Dorito. I, I said I know. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, good, Doritos good. Locos Tacos built to have an ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's well, funny. Oh, before anything, we got to give a shout out to the boy Austin. He had made us some dope logos. We'll and, put them uh, up on screen right now. <clears throat> he been with us from the get, man. Shout out to yeah. Austin. Thank you. He's Thank a real you. one. He's a real one. He didn't charge us for that either, right? Cool people, man. Yeah. That's he a cool dude. If he did. That's a cool dude. He just did it for free. For free. I think that's what means the most. You did it for free. Thank you for looking at him, man. He's there a ain't too He's many a people like that nowadays, yeah. bro. Nah, I ain't going to do too much for free, so. <laughs> what will you do for free? Nowadays, nothing. Talk with three guys. Whenever yeah, we're not we getting get paid for this. Oh, yeah. We're <laughs> That's loading. Whenever. That's loading. That's loading. Yeah. That's, we're waiting. YouTube said they sent the check. They did. we just waiting on it. Who banged? Who put that routing information in? Which one of y'all? Which one of y'all hide? Mm-hmm. See, head scratching. <laughs> Hold on. I don't we, know. We got a Judas in the It's building. like I got the direct deposit like two weeks ago. <laughs> you pop up here with new Gucci shoes. I'm like... <laughs> What's, wait a minute! Oh, what's, what's you didn't notice the little plaque in the in the living room, and then you you hide it in dis, like in discreetly so right. don't nobody really notice it. You got on them ugly Balenciaga shoes. That's like twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> what'd you uh? What'd you do with your stimulus? Yeah. What did you do? Oh, you said what did I do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you, oh you, yeah. You mean serious question? What did yeah, I do yeah, with yeah. my stimulus? I just kept. wait. We got three, right? Two. I think we got three. I only got two of them. I'd but you were still getting paid for your daughter, though, year. right? No, I just had my daughter. Twenty three. A year ago. I didn't get the, so she was so since she was born in twenty twenty one. Oh, that's right. I didn't that's get right, any right, of the right, benefits because right. they were yeah. like, "You just had her." Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. don't need money yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what you spend it on? Oh, I can't take. I think I just I, put it in my savings. Honestly, fam. Yeah, I think well, so. I I couldn't afford to just throw it in my savings. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I put it straight on bills, <laughs> and hey, then I probably boy. bought some dumb shit. That stimulus check really helped out a lot of people. A lot, and then what you do with it? I just lived off of it. Hmm? I just lived off of it. My boy Chris splurged, went to Burger King. Chilling. I just hung out. <clears throat> Made his a large. <clears throat> yeah, I did splurge. I think I got the uh, when I do my little number one with American cheese, one chocolate chip cookie, and two Chick Fil A sauces. I got a large sweet tea. Oh. <laughs> what? Because it's just money. Because he said, "What I do with my stimulus?" Yeah, yeah. I, I did that. I went to Chick Fil A with my stimulus. How much was that meal? That's a nine dollar meal right there. Yeah. Nah, bro. You no, it, bro. More I get a burrito and the chicken bowl, fries and a drink, and that thing like sixteen dollars. Yeah, it's expensive. First of all, that sounds like three different meals. Like, yeah, that sounds like you just order. You order like three different things. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna justify? You're gonna justify spending more? Cause game. Nah, good. Yeah. Cause game. Uh, real time though. Real time though. I I do try to eat a lot. I don't know why. You trying to bulk up for what? <laughs> Caleb, a real life hater. <laughs> In real life, at this moment, hater. Like, I got no problem with you bulking up and wanting like be big. Yeah, but like, are you doing competitions? <laughs> Look, see, I hate. I don't. I just can't be, get big. No, what's the point of being like that, that big? Yeah, and, and giving a nigga a fade. <laughs> <I> don't. <laughs> That would make me feel look, weird. He look, 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 look at the okay. point where he it's can't, a, he can't a, get around your head anymore. He's like, he's like, like hey, scratch me right here, man. I can't reach. Like, if, if you jack, be like, hold my clip. If, yeah. if I walk in a barbershop and a dude, Jack Diesel, talking about, I can get you right here, fam. <laughs> 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 Buddy, you, I'm like, sir, you're in the wrong profession. What are you doing? Like, you you training for WWE? The show next week. You sneeze, <laughs> your clippers just crank. <laughs> 
fight, buddy. A true <laughs> third pair this week. And I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it in. I'm like, hey, do you ever think about doing bodybuilding full time? <laughs> nah, I, I just love what I do, fam. And, 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 and then he grabbed your head. That's like, what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you put oh, wrinkles, just shit. You put wrinkles all in the top of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't feel like. Hold on, Seth. Hold on. Then every time I see you, you get bigger and bigger, like when SpongeBob had the blow up muscles. I'm like, I'm like, this is kind of getting on. Stomping on the thing, lifting you up. Yeah. <laughs> then you, then you always playing like a, a motivational YouTube speak. You know the ones that be like all along <laughs> for the gym. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, do I need to? You can do it. It really worked though. I like, I like those speeches. I enjoy. It. I enjoy listening to uh, the Joe Rogan one. It wasn't actually Joe Rogan's, but somebody clipped a yeah, couple yeah, of yeah, Joe Rogan. Yeah, 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 clips together. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. He opened it but, up. But, uh, yeah, coming back to that question, what's the point? I of Man, it's, it's, it's to the point now where it's like I've done it for like maybe two years now consistently. And it's just like, why? You don't feel like you well, wasted any time? Why stop now? No. And it's, it's and a it's, good habit. Being healthy is a good habit. Bro. Not, but what have you gained from the... Like, <laughs> I mean, if it's, yeah. it's something you really love doing, right? I like it. I really it's enjoy it. Race yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> so you trying to be everything? I'm, I'm gonna let you, you in on a little both. secret. <laughs> you keep getting bigger. You ain't gonna be that. Fan. I was gonna say I'm a little quick, fella. But know. look though, you're not if, what, if I, what if I'm still proportional, where my legs grow the same? Well, I mean, I don't run no more, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, if you keep getting big, big, bro, most big people like, do well, cardio. People, yeah, what people don't understand, bro, is as you get bigger, your your heart has to work more because it has to pump mm-hmm. blood through more area. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it <laughs> good, I mean. So what thing, you're saying. You really, like, my heart, I'm going to give out like 35. Good thing you ain't going to worry about uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to lose an aortic valve here pretty it's soon. pretty soon, soon man. Up. I'm going to get a blood clot. Y'all going to know what happened. I was on them roids. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> now the truth comes. Hey, truth out. Is, yeah, yeah, you out. said it in episode nah. one, that's and man. that's why he's so hot headed. Remember and how he was acting? Episodes later, hey, the truth <laughs> comes. Re- remember how he was acting in the group message? Roy Ray. Y'all, y'all are replaceable. I hate y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have about three, four, five new niggas in here. <laughs> In my uh, in my production studio. This is about to be Ramsey's podcast. Funnier than every one of y'all. Yeah, you just was yelling. You were sending voice messages. Bro, everything, was, like, every, <laughs> what? everything was in cap lock. And it was in caps. Your voice was capitalized. He said, "He said if you feel a way about it, pull up on me right now and send your address." I'm like, "What's going on?" <laughs> fist emoji, fist emoji. Yeah. And he I meant shared that. my whole location. He said, "Look." Front yard right now, shirts off. Let's get it. And we not slap box. <laughs> yeah. He said. He said my eight thirty cancel. Pull up. Pull up. Yeah. Pull. Up. We gonna we gonna rearrange the furniture inside the barbershop. He said, you cool gonna run me my boxing ring. You just you finna Fair get enough. That'd be cool though. That that would be cool. I would like to fight have for my fade. Like, like, where you can just pull up. Like if you got beef with somebody, you just pull up to like they do. They so do, do that. Fight. You what? can. You can do that. Pull up to that crib. No, no, no. I'm saying like my one right a little now. bit, a little professionally. Oh, you, know, you got a boxing ring somewhere. Set like up. you can call somebody like, "Hey, I got beef with this dude. If he agrees, can go. y'all set up a fight?" That'd be cool. But it'll be such a big liability. Oh yeah, people be dying. Yeah, yeah. Well, we will, obviously we wouldn't let it get that far. Oh, we don't you say we don't, that. But yeah, we don't know what's gonna get that far until it get that far. Until it gets that far, then it's like, <laughs> oh, he tapped out. And it's, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, whoa. He, he tapped out, and the guy's still choking him. <laughs> you Come you on. said, "What happened?" <laughs> like he's not waking up. Like okay, he he knocked Buddy out. We finna. Come disperse, and he just step on his head, <laughs> stomp on his head. Because you, you, you said these two people who have beef need to meet up. It, it's bigger than this. They got some real problems. <laughs> dude, bring a knife. He, come on, he he take the gloves out. He just whispering the dude there. And you think he just talking? <laughs> cut his neck. I'm like, oh. that little fight club we got lasted a month. You gotta explain the insurance. <laughs> yeah. So what? What? Hey, we setting the oh. ring up for next week, bro. Yeah, I'm like, hey, what's that? What's that one movie fight? Is it Fight Club? Yeah, oh, where he makes with it all Kevin up James? Brad, uh, oh, here comes Brad the boom. Pitt. Oh, no, no, no. Where he makes it all up in his yeah, club. yeah, yeah. Fight Club. Fight Club. That's a Bro, good movie. I did not like it. I didn't like it. What? No, I didn't yeah. either. That I didn't movie. Like there it. was so many plot twists. It, that was a good was, movie. I didn't. Bro, I had did me on my like toes. It. it felt like a. Uh, that's it felt movie. like I was watching Inception, and I cut that off like three minutes in. Really? That's had, I had no desire to be thinking. I was well, at first, I you had to like you had to you had to I tough do. your way. You had to tough your way through the first fifteen minutes. But I will say this: okay, I'm a sucker for rom coms, but I did like Gone Girl. That movie make you think. Did you ever watch it? Nah, hell no. Nah. She made it seem like 
shoot well gone. yeah the movie this ain't even no spoiler alert because this movie old, old. Basically, she was Fair mad. Use. She was mad at her boyfriend, so she made it seem like she somebody uh, deleted her. Mm. <laughs> because they was having, <laughs> they was having just like minor problems. So she want to see how. Oh, and she just did. She made it, and then it was like a nationwide manhunt. They, she made blood come out of place. They're like, oh, well, she's obviously been attacked, and it was just because they had a, a little dispute. A little dispute. Oh, so she made think she made she made, she made everybody think her boyfriend killed him. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Yeah, because it's been a minute since I've seen it. She orchestrated it in a way where he was the prime suspect. I thought I thought you made it seem like where she just gets dipped from the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, she dipped to <clears throat> prove a point. Oh, she, hey. she was right. I'm sending the I'm sorry text instantly. Yeah, and then he started putting two or two together. and was like, whoa, she was planning this the whole time. And I I remember everything. I mean, she do little stuff. And he had immediate yeah, flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, he was getting. And then basically she whispered into his ear, yeah, we we together forever. Whoa! Like, yeah. Imagine having a girl that crazy. Well, and being stuck with her forever. So you don't know though. And you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. You like the old, that crazy. Hey, like the old schools be saying, you don't know a woman till you get up pregnant. Fa- fam, and they tell you when they first when you first meet them, they're like, you know, I'm a little crazy, and you always with them with that. You know, baby, I like. That. And you run that red light religiously. <laughs> I love you. It's like, I can keep up with yeah, crazy. Yeah, I, I keep. Flags. I love crazy. Yeah, you ignoring them red flags. Yeah. Then you get a text from your homeboy talking about who is that. I think I think I do pretty good in the fight. With, I never been you, in a fight with your female. You talking with a, with a, with a woman? With <laughs> you beat her up, huh? With you walk home a Mahika, <laughs> <laughs> and you balking up. Let me see the gunshot. You, uh, you ever been in a fight? No, have you? Nah, I ain't. No. You mean like just a real? Hey, hey, see me? Yeah, yeah, just a post up. No. There was one time we had gone to the club, and Duke kept pushing up on me, and I don't know if he had a problem. Y'all were just in the club. But dude kept pushing on me. That's the thing. Like, yeah, I was just in the no. Nah, like, like, it, it, it was it was noticeably like obvious. You yeah. know. Yeah, that's. And uh, finally, man, I just got tired. I turned around. I pushed him. But that's all they got to. Like everybody broke it up. It well, the cool. club Peacock Central. Yeah, you there to show out true. regardless. Well, I mean, I don't. You got a clap. You got. A, you have a wife. <laughs> well, yeah, Who I cares? have a woman though. So if you yeah, in the club, why are you in the club now? True. You be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Go home. I can't have fun. No, no. You have a wife. You're right. You fun right. ain't no fun. Fun when I ain't no fun. in that ring. Nah, we you, working. Yeah, you a mule now. You working till you die. Yep, that's true. And then leave enough insurance, life insurance, so her new man can get a nice truck. Uh, At least in 2012. That, <laughs> but I mean, you said you like bulking. That's cool. You passionate about something. So what you passionate about? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Oh, yeah. like, cause there's nothing that you get like. So I what you reading these books for? What you reading these motivational ass books for? I love reading them. So that's not something passionate I'm about. passionate about. I just enjoy reading them. I just enjoy the knowledge. For what? What are you gonna use it for? To put in my memory bank. Okay. So what? Have <laughs> you, what have you learned so far from the book? Like, what have I learned so far from yeah, the book? So okay, wait, wait, wait. The book he's reading is. Mm. Yeah, the richest man in Babylon. The but I just got man it. in Babylon. I listened to the audio book. I didn't read it. But <clears throat> it's like uh, Middle East. It was yeah. It was like the Boston. It was set in in the Middle Eastern time. Yeah. One of the greatest cities in the world. They pulled they pulled off uh, one of the best feats of engineering by transferring water to barren land. Yeah. And creating pretty a, much just supply and demand is yeah. all it was. That's they, like the bigger picture was supply and demand. They figured out yeah. They figured out how to turn uh the middle of nowhere into New York City. Yeah. And then it oh, fell wow. like all empires do eventually. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. You had, yeah, a, every had empire, it going on. And it fell. And it failed. But every is empire, there a movie based off that? No, it's just a book. I mean, I could, I'd there might be some references. War, World on. War Z with Brad Pitt. <laughs> that was a good movie. Was it a good movie? It started out good. The zombies really like took it. over and it ruined. That's kind of like the story of Babylon. It started uh, out good. The zombies bad. won? They won. And what was the whole point of the movie? He got on a air, helicopter or airplane and disappeared with some people. Oh, I, I don't know where they went because the zombies <clears throat> was worldwide. Shout out Pete Boo. Yeah, I remember when people thought we were, the world was going to end in 2012. Yeah, I got in, I got in trouble in PE for that. Wow. Some girl was just sitting there boohooing. And the coach had to come over there and give her a hug and tell her it's going to be okay. The world not ended. I said, I said, girl, we going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I think she made me like run laps around the old gym. The raggedy one up top. You remember when uh, you cracked that joke about Paris at one time? In media? No, no, no. We was in, I think it was history or English. 
And it was when the bombing had just happened. And you was like, oh, and this is France. You circled it, and it was, you was like, I heard this is the bomb there. That was 2016. <laughs> that was 2016. No, 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 no. No, that was 2016. Fam, we was in class. No, I had overalls on, I think. That was 2016. <laughs> Oh boy, Fam, we were in class. I don't think it was in school. Yes, bro, because it, it was during the soccer. Why the soccer you? Why, no, why are you pleading to me? I don't know. Because uh, maybe y'all remember the soccer game. P PSG was playing Paris, and oh. there was a bomb that happened. Oh, and I remember the bomb. Yeah, it was that. that but why are you? Game, I don't know. Yeah, they stopped the game. Because I understand. See, you remember the game though. I remember the game. There we go. You're very passionate about the story. I had to make that joke twice then, and it slapped both times. That stuff was so funny. Fam, cracked the whole class up. Cause it was I, hilarious. I, I did it in. Oh, and, then, and said, we just lost, we just lost like eight Paris followers. We, oh, que let's just say me fee. You chose to watch it. Je We, we. Uh, is that what you said? Let the buyer beware. Roughly, that's what it means in French. Uh, que let's just say me fee. So fui. That means pig, I think. Um, what the I said, didn't I say, oh, shout out Paris. I hear it's the bomb right now. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> and it it's slapped. It's slapped. Man, a little tough, though. That's, that's a little. That's like that dark humor. It didn't happen in America, so it, it really didn't. If I would have made like a 9 11 joke, I probably would have got suspended. See, and that's, you know, it's funny. I, I feel like you wouldn't Yo, yo. I hate, I hate the people that don't like, <laughs> take in dark humor like well, you know? Like, they'll end up going ahead and, like, Like, they're too sensitive. I don't yeah. know, bro, because, like, if you talk to your parents about, like, a, a, a messed up joke, you know, it's kind of like... They'll be like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, exactly. So but it's yeah. like, you know who to... to you know to, who to throw your dark yeah, humor Yeah, the on. dark humor, too, you know? Like, I'll do well, it to y'all. Nowadays, you, nowadays you, you know? don't. Like, you can't do it to just anybody. I got... Oh, well, I was working... Fam, at, there's, some, there's some messed up stuff on TikTok. When I was working at the... And they hey, just the, think the comments, funny. bro. The comments are, <laughs> the comments are hilarious. <laughs> When I was working at the cable company, I joked about deleting myself, and this dude went off on me. He said, as someone who's tried to do that, I find, I take offense to that. I've, okay, I've, really? met, I've met a lot of people like that, though, that are, like, really, like, Bro, he like, went don't, like don't joke about that because they've been about that. You know what I'm saying? I was like, if I, I thought, if I got to work two Saturdays in a row, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, delete Deed. myself. That's what you said. And we was all laughing. And he said, uh, as someone who's attempted to do that, I find it very offensive. I say you should find it offensive that you're not good at it because you should. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say that to him because I probably would have got sued. Yeah, that would that, that, that have been a problem, man. And this was a grown man. I expect a woman to be sensitive like that and charge yeah, me yeah. up. But that dude, he made it very clear. Uh -uh, man, these are confusing play. times, bro. These are confusing times. Yeah. Now you got to tell women your real name. If <laughs> not, you'll go to jail. Who? What are you talking well, about? Give me an example. In the state of either California or New York, they passed the law. You know how you, you meet a chick and you don't give her your full name? Yeah. Uh, if you don't do that yeah, now okay. in one of those two states, it's on Google. Uh, you Look that up, John. You could be charged in a form of, False you know, name. S8. Oh, wow. Go uh, Look up going to jail for false name. Damn, I can't. You I can't even imagine that. Cause you you miss that's misleading. You mean the girl for a one night stand? What's and you tell her your, your name, fake Joe. Name? My fa my name Caleb J. <laughs> <laughs> I and I'm well, probably gonna every time wrong. I every time I place an order somewhere and they say what's the name, I say Pablo. I give him a different name at. Now is that because Ramsey's too hard to? No, I just it's just I mean it. Pablo Pablo. I be using shout out to all the Pablos. Chelsea Angela. Jackie, Jacqueline. Oh, I'm going to just start saying some crazy names. I mean, that's how I'm going to say Saki Julia. I said Mudbone Davis, and they actually wrote it on my... <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I didn't think they would do it. And I almost lost it in front of the guy because he said, is that all for you, Mr. Mister Mudbone? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's man. funny. Uh, yeah. Like, I was at... Never mind. Ain't nobody going to watch this. <laughs> I, I said my ring... Talk who got my number? You got the ringtone right now? Y'all got your phone right now? Hold on, hold on. Call me. Call me. I said my ringtone to this at work, and everybody act like they didn't know what it was. <laughs> hold up, Junior. It's easy to do that on Android, huh? Easy to do what? You ready? Call me right now. Is it calling? <laughs> <laughs> And what, I'm like, like who, 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 
what, what ring tone they was that? They were acting entirely clueless, like they didn't know. How many people were around you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You had 11. that many people around you. Nobody said nothing. <clears throat> my coworker, he tried. He tried the whole frame. Yeah. And he kept talking to my boss, like. <laughs> <laughs> but he just he dropped his head and started laughing and walked off. And then the two younger guys. They walked off too and started talking to each other. Then I looked over at them. They looked over at me. They lost it and turned the other way. <laughs> but it was funny because one of the other older guys out there, he didn't talk to me for the, he didn't talk to me, period. But he gave me dirty looks and did not speak to me for the duration of their Bro, project. that I is love. hilarious. I love it. But Man. see, but see. Well, if, see, if like you, hear, you work with nothing but dudes, though, and you're around, like you're not around females that much. Mm -hmm. So it's. I mean, it's like, whatever. Right. I'm gonna perk up if I if if like a female like oh, what is that? <laughs> I'm like, well, how do you know what that is? <laughs> yeah. You know. But the thing about it, you can't. If you with your girl and my ringtone go off, you can't laugh or say nothing because then she gonna be like, well, how do you know what that is? You just sitting there like, like hey, it's just all over TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's always been easy. You just tell a girl one thing, she's like, okay, I believe you. Yeah. She's like, no, 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 no. You laugh a little too hard. What's What's that? You like, oh, babe, babe, that's the such and such inside intro. joke. Wait, do you watch that stuff? Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> and then you gotta explain yourself. Then you gotta explain. Nah, baby, I don't. I, I did when I was twelve. I don't watch it no more. I, I don't. It's like you nasty. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, baby. She pulls up your search history. She pulls up. She snatched the phone right out your hand. She gets stuck right. And that's throat. a tough day for everybody. You ever had a girl snatch her phone out your hand and just go through it because she felt like it? I never had nobody oh. snatch my hand. Period. You said, That's my shit, bro. I'm snatching my shit back. You know, you're like hanging out with a chick. And, well, you know, hanging out with a chick. You know, hanging out. If I'm, like ever, just, if I'm ever like playing video playing games. If I'm ever just hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, you ever been playing Yahtzee with a chick and she took your phone out your hand? No. Oh, oh man. Y'all remember Words with Friends? I was Ooh, telling them. talking about that I shit. was telling them before they got here. That was a good app to cheat on. Because you could text You could people. message, bro. You had that little chat beside it. Like, oh, I got you. I'm, I guess Some I'm too young for that because I don't know what that is. You, you don't know words with friends? Man, why are you charging me up right now? You've been aggressive this whole time. This roid rage you got? I just, I, I, bro, I, yes. I, I was just a little surprised. You, you play a little word and then you're like, what you doing? <laughs> An older dude dropped that on me. He said that was a good cheat. M, M or F. Yeah, because you, you could do SMS through there. <laughs> <laughs> and no, nobody will ever know. Like, like I told him, until 3 in the morning, your girl is like, why is Cassandra asking you to make a move? What's going on over here? But that was the perfect app for it. That's too much work. That's no, too much work. No, it's bro. not. It's just a third yes, party app. We talking about to cheat? And that she, too. And then oh, she nah. put the word sex. No, nah, I don't. No, nah, I don't condone cheat. No. And then you that, put yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. You didn't have to. Once y'all already engaged in the game, you could just message right there. It wasn't like you sent a word. I sent. No, you yeah. could literally send SMS. Huh. No, nah, that was just. You were just using another app to text. It wasn't no extra work at all. Well, but you download I, them text nows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, do, I do hey, agree. Y'all remember, remember Kick? Fa okay, okay, okay. That was a big this cheater. Is, this, is, this is a true story. What? I seen everybody, when Instagram first started popping, I seen everybody had a Kick thing on me, on the, their Instagram bio. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what the hell that meant. I put that bitch on my line. What? I just had it on there. Oh, <laughs> <it's no kick. laughs> my boy said Kick. I, I said Kick me. <clears throat> How do you get in contact with Russians? Well, I got Tandem. Tandem teaches you how to learn a language. So you open up your Tandem profile and you choose what language you want to learn. Well, that's what I'm saying, though. But I'm not talking about to speak the language. I'm talking about how do you get on those apps and have somebody to talk to? Where are they coming from? They're coming from where we're coming from, a place. Damn. What are you talking about? You just download the app. and those, It's just like it's just like Instagram. So, the, so there's... It's it's pretty much Instagram, but it's not like your pictures or nothing. You're just talking to people. You upload your profile oh, picture. Oh, so it's just an app to meet people and learn a different language. You want to learn? You want to learn Deutsch? You and, can. It's just for that. It's just so you can learn another language. Mm, it's called Tandem. But just like anything oh, else, that's people find cool, they love. Yeah, I enjoy it. Mostly, I just talk to them, ask them questions about St. Basil's Cathedral, the Kremlin, and all that. Yeah. I'm like, man, I was really trying to learn the alphabet, but you just want to know what's America like. I'm like, well, I guess we can talk about that. <laughs> so I enjoy it. Sensitive? Like, yeah, they're like, yeah, well, add me on Telegram. And then they're like, add me on VK, but VK is Russian Instagram, so yeah. if you can't read it, you don't know what's going on. That's why I still only have one friend. 
because I don't know how to read it. Dang. But tandem is cool. I picked I picked uh, Russian, German, and Spanish. Yeah. And it's a lot of Spanish speakers on there. I feel like too many. Everybody a little too lazy to learn another language. No, it takes it takes dedication. Oh, I bet. Just like learning an instrument. Yeah. Well, like <clears throat> you were born here, right? Yeah. So you didn't really have a problem learning English, mm -hmm. no. But you know how some people really do. Yeah. I was at an empanada spot in Houston, and I met a girl. She just came from Honduras, and she really did have a hard time speaking English. I was like, "Good luck." Well, that's most. I mean, that's. Yeah, but. Did they try to put you in she ESL was, classes. They put me. I think I was in first grade. They put me in ESL and took me right back out. They tried, they tried <clears> to put <throat> me in one in sixth grade. That's wild. And I was like, I know English. I know like, it was like the first week. And like, nah, like, you need do to your be parents need an English and Spanish copy? And I was like, it don't matter. They they know they both. Speak both. And then they were like, oh. <clears throat> and they started being like, well, why are you here? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, just put me in a regular English class. It was yeah. Funny. They, yeah. They took me out of ESL after I spelled uh, super lagadocious. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spell it right now. Can you still do but, that? Yeah, but like you said, a lot of people have a hard time with it. And she was in her 20s. I'm like, man, you in America and you an adult, you that's gonna be kind of rough. But well, what you talking about? Who was the the girl I met that was working at the Empanada restaurant? Oh, oh she yeah, just yeah, yeah. she literally just got here from Honduras. I think she said she yeah, only been a here a couple one. of months. I said, man, good luck. Yeah, that's a tough one. Cause I I don't know enough Spanish to try to help you learn English. Damn, but she was the one. She you suppose she was attractive? Yeah. Uh, she, I'm she one hundred percent. She was the one for you. No, mm. not the one for me. I, no. She was just attractive. So you just know empanada spots? Yeah, I packed it in on my phone, and then my brother took me over there, and it was really good. <laughs> <laughs> what but, you be getting from an em empanada place? But that's the only time I've ever actually been to one, because I was in Houston, mm. and I was like, ooh, I want to try some Argentinian food. So it was a, it was an actual Ar Argentinian restaurant, but the girl was from Honduras, and the dude that was working there with, with her, I think he was from Mexico. Is yeah. empanada an Ar Ar Argentinian thing? No, nah, this empanada is like it's Mexican empanada. Yeah, that's what that's what, yeah. I guess it's just depends on the country yeah. in which it's made. Oh yeah. Just like you can eat chili in in like different places in America, they prepare it different. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You got, but, you got, you got, you're right, you're right. Yeah, but I just wanted to try some Argentinian food, and it was like Argentinian empanadas. So I pulled up, and it was actually good. I didn't think I could get filled up on three of those, but they pack a lot of meat. Fan, yeah, and it's, fan, bro, it's nothing but, like, uh, the bread. Yeah, like, you good. fill up on hella bread. That was my first time actually eating an empanada. Yeah. I enjoyed it. You ever had an enchilada? You mean, like, from El Sombrero? Yes. Good, yeah. good, answer. good answer. Good answer. Ah, bro, like authentic. An authentic enchilada? I don't want to disrespect no Mexican restaurant I've been to, but I don't think I've been to an actual authentic Mexican restaurant. You better talk really about all right. You think so? Hey, hey, no, nah, you and that boy, Carrot, you was cutting. Y'all tried to clown me when I said them tacos are amazing. Oh, uh, they, I mean, they're not that good. But didn't he just say it's all right? But it's all right, good. but. They blow my mind okay, well, every time. I, I shouldn't say that either. They they, they okay, good. Okay, would y'all consider that one Mexican restaurant down the street from Laterno authentic? Which one? Oh, I, you talking I, about I just that, don't want to say. I just that's supposed to be uh, that's right next to the gas station. Well, or, it was Old Church's Chicken. It, it's an actual, they boarded it up. The church's chicken is right next to there. And the gas station is across the street. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, the one down from Laterno. <laughs> it looked like it just used to be like a, a gas station type, but they turned it into. Oh, uh, it's on Moberly. It's on, yeah, Moberly. That's the name of the street. Yeah. I don't, I don't think I've ever been there. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. I mean, I'll, there's a church right there. Mm -hmm. is, is it good? The tacos well, I've never strip been there, but it's, it's. Which strip club? Over there by, by Harley's. Oh, Whiskey Ben? I think so. I yeah, it's know. over there by Whiskey Ben. I oh, ain't eating dude. at that. Oh, wait, you. I used to eat at the one that was on the same side of the road as a strip club. I don't think it's there anymore. No, nah, it's not. Oh, yeah, because they turned oh, into Lake a whole Port. Buffalo wing. They, oh. The, mm -hmm. that park Have you ever been there? Is it good? <clears throat> nope. I don't know. They turned it into like a whole Buffalo wing spot. So, yeah. nah, that, that little taco stand that used to be there, it isn't there anymore. You doing wing stop or uh, Buffalo Wild Wings? Oh, Buffalo Wild Wings and wing stop, but let me explain myself. Yeah, because I need to answer on that one. Wing stop, because I love eating those mild wings. Mm -hmm. And I like flats, you know, with the bone in them and stuff. But just 
playing with wings and eating different type of wings, Buffalo Wild Wings, 100%. That's crazy. Hey, but wing stops wings, they're actually more spicier than Buffalo Wild Wings because I've had one of their hotter wings. It really didn't do nothing for me. You ever had yeah. the Atomics? At Wingstop? Yeah, it almost blew my head off. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. But the when I was moving up on the spicy scale at, at B-Dubs, it, it went in. I don't know. The mm. weight just sucks there, bro. Yeah. You're waiting for a good hour for your I, food. That's the only thing I don't like. I like that food, but that weight. Just to get oh, it tastes good. Like, yeah. I went there. Me and my dad were hanging out. We went there. I think I counted over 50 TVs. It had to have been over 50 TVs. There's a lot of electricity. Electric bills crazy. That's like casinos when I was in Vegas. That's all I was thinking about. I was like, man, these stay on all what, day, what every day. What the light bill looking like? Yeah, all day, every day. It don't matter, though. It's a casino. If Yeah, yeah they Everybody really, throwing their life savings away. They're, they're actually, that's the definition of printing money. They found a money printing operation. People that's come wild. to us and give us their life savings and lose their house. And we, and, we, family and, and we say thank you. Hey, and you lose your whole family in behind the tables being hot. And we throw out, <laughs> we throw out thirty thousand a month. That's it. That's, yeah, that's all. We don't even give out that much that we've received. Yeah, we give out thirty thousand a month. You think there's a way to beat the casino? No, the house always wins. The house always wins. And that's how it works. But I think I got that. I I think I got the key though. I got the key. The key. Cause look, I'm really smart, right? Do you have a gambling Sometimes. addiction? No, no, no. I ain't been in he does? Fam, I ain't been like in a, like three months. We ain't got nothing to do with Fam, it's February. Yeah, we haven't gone right, since last right, year. Right, yeah. Raise oh, your no. hand. Raise your hand if you have a gambling addiction and just don't be ashamed. Raise your hand, Ramsey. Don't be ashamed. Raise you your hand. Just left the casinos? What they got to do with anything? I went to the Pro Bowl. Okay, so y'all all so point fingers money. at each other. I See, think there's addicts in here. <laughs> well, raise your hand. Like, did I have I gambled recently? Yes. Uh, am I an addict? No. Okay. Raise That's what hand. an addict would say. That's definitely what an addict would say. Wasn't you doing a shell game on the side of the street with somebody? That's what I'm saying. What you <laughs> <doing? laughs> <laughs> Junior's been over here scratching his Bro, hand. that was like five five how, years ago. How, how much did you lose playing three card Monty? Didn't you say you lost, what, just 200 bucks? I just lost like 200. Oh, okay. Just My boy, 200. though. Lost like 700 in an Apple Watch. Shout out Nano, man. Shout out Nano. He oh. just slipped it off his wrist? He said, hey. It was so funny because, like, that when you were explaining that story, it, it was like, I ain't going to say no names. That would be something to explore. Y'all ever watch videos of pickpockets? Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. That's how easy it looks. That's like in the, uh, where does it happen a lot? In Bigger Brazil? Days. Oh, yeah. Brazil it happens countries. a lot. They just slip it right out. I'm like, well, yeah. how did you even do that? Just grab your bag. You remember, like, on the spy movies, he'll bump into the guy at the airport and just slip his wallet out his coat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just pull out what they need. Yeah. yeah. I was like, can't nobody do that. And then I watched. I was like, oh, people really can do that. They just lift your stuff and you won't even know it. I think I've successfully stolen okay. uh, quite a few stuff. things. You know, I can honestly say I ain't stolen nothing. Ever in your life? No. Uh, I've stole hearts. It. I've stole. <laughs> <laughs> I think in daycare, I, I had a. I was a toy car I was playing with, and I just wanted to keep playing with, so I took you it You put it in your backpack, yeah. Yeah, my mom made me take it home. I stole in catalytic games. converters. You said what? Video games. I stole in some TVs. What's your most, okay, what's your most legendary appeal? You know, I can't believe I got away with that. It's probably hearts. Okay, what's your most legendary <laughs> appeal? you like, I can't believe I got away Kel, with that. You got, a, you got a whole list, bro. I was, oh, I that's was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you a thief? See, he's a changed man. He's a changed you're man. Gonna let, I'm just gonna let me incriminate myself. <laughs> <laughs> but now you let everybody know I'm a thief, so I now I gotta say. Everybody know I'm a thief. Anybody, anybody who have ever been around that watches this, they know you ever thief. lost anything. <laughs> they gonna they, think it's you. They're gonna assume I took it now. Okay, what's your most legendary appeal? <laughs> the statute of limitations is Fam, yes, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking right now. I really I am. I, I, you say, I know you're not going to say, oh, I stole a jewel out of a museum. Like, oh, uh, okay. uh, who, don't, you don't you ever kicked it with somebody that stole something? Yes, one time I was with this dude and we walked out the gas station and he had a uh, honey bun. He was like, he was like, fam, I just took it. I was like, no, you're going to go back in there and pay for it. Actually, what I can genuinely say did, I'm did most proud of. Whoa, he did it? I told him, I'll give you the money, but I'm not going to, I don't, don't want to get 
caught up in it. <laughs> I don't want to ride that so funny. He was like, man, but just a honey bun. Really, bro? I was like, yeah, just please go. Here I am finna come. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm finna come so you can't kick it with me then because I'm just doing hearts. And Chris is... <laughs> <laughs> Caleb, can you finish what you were saying? Can you finish, please? I said, I'm over here incriminating myself and Chris over here being the saint, like trying to go to heaven and shit. I just, I don't, I don't like Look, I'll say, I can, I can genuinely All say right, what I'm not. No, shut up, I'm talking. Uh, okay, well, Damn. Oh, I'm tired. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> shit. Do you think? He'd be aggressive with now. <laughs> what you want, Caleb? He said, I'm tired. You. <laughs> Okay. I was gonna say what I can there. genuinely say. I'm like I'm proud. Well, anyways, Ramsey Duck. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I do want to hear it. I, I am curious. Caleb gonna call uh, Caleb. Ramsey out at the box. Caleb bothered. <laughs> he gonna beat on your door. Come outside, bro. Hey, Caleb. Let's scrap. Cause look, bro, you already got herpes. You got <laughs> <laughs> You got what else? We, what, what else, Caleb? You know about stocks and bonds. You know. <laughs> How do we go from an STD to the market? I don't. Cause he's told us this. Ain't nothing wrong with herpes. They just love bumps, man. Hey, is, yeah. is that what it is? Hey, do, do y'all watch I, The Office? I yeah. That. That's what Packer said. He said, "Oh, just a couple of love bumps." Yeah. <laughs> Good old Todd Packer. Packer. Shout out Packer. Packer. What did you? What I did you peel? I ain't got herpes. Oh, so listen. Successfully through five months of college, we I stole twenty three cases of water from Walmart. You're not in college no more, right? No. Okay. Last year. So <laughs> when, <laughs> no, so when I was in college, basically what we do is when we go to Walmart and we'd buy anything, we'd get a shopping cart, we'd throw them cases of water on the bottom and you know, you walk just through skip a few. You walk through and you just don't scan them and they don't go off in the thing. We successfully uh-huh. stole twenty three like- twenty five to twenty three to twenty five cases. Like getting a, getting the popcorn chicken and eating it, walking around Walmart and just putting it in the bread aisle and walking away. I never done. Where was the popcorn chicken at? Where the where they have? In the deli. Bro, in the deli. Yeah, I used to I used to go. I used to go to Walmart to order a plate from the deli just to eat. Oh, you just to eat and then scat. Yeah, yeah people, people do, do that in high school. Yeah, Man, like you go eat at Walmart. That was so good. I never did that. Fam, tomorrow. Butchers got real good plates. Tomorrow. Yeah, I be going to Butchers. I ain't never been to Burger And so does McCabe's. Mm. I like eating that. Oh, McCabe's is good, bro. Okay, Especially on a Friday. Hey, they got a buffet. He got a certain vibe to it in there, but, you know, I like the food, so I put up. <laughs> All the ladies nice in there. What's the vibe? 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 What's the, what's the most not, successful peel? What's, what's the most successful the peel you pull? Like? I, don't think, I don't think I've stolen anything, really. Nah, bro. I mean, that makes me uneasy, so I was like, nah, bro. Wait, just, look at your head. Just go ahead and pay for what? it. You're like Breaking Bad. You're That's like crazy. Something. Let's get out of here. I'm not going to be an accessory. Hey, but y'all see the waves coming in, bro? Shout out Wave Gang. We on, we on swim mode. Uh, no, he didn't. Well, I told y'all when my buddy stole that gum from Target. Gum? Oh, yeah, you told us about that. Yeah. I feel like what I've stole compared to what y'all are talking about is, like, ridiculous. Petty. I've, I've, done some, <laughs> I've done some stupid stuff. Wait, you so you, you you did a uh, something more successful than the water from Walmart? Oh, but Walmart got it. They'd be fam, cool. I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna throw myself out I'm just there. Just tell off for Just do it, bro. Just do it. Statue no. of limitation. It might not be up yet, but it's all right. All right. Uh, one. Th- oh, 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 well, it's a repair mm-hmm. shop. Well, I was getting my phone repaired. Yeah. While I was in there with Junior, it was my ride. I, you know, yeah. That's accomplished. You did this in Alaska, oh, by the way. Like, like you this. did this. You did this in Alaska. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. When I went to Alaska, you so, did this in Alaska. So I texted Junior. I was like, "Hey, you want a phone case?" He was like, "Yeah." So behind me is these expensive, like fifty dollars phone cases. Yeah. Like, like they were like they was like the Otter Boxes before Otter Box. Mm-hmm. And uh, fam, it's on the wall in the package and everything. And. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, look, checkout's right there. The guy's sitting right there, and just magically, I got, I ended up with it. I ain't gonna incriminate myself. He pulls up to my car, and he's it. like, "Here you go." This, like, How this, much was it? Fam, I paid zero dollars. I paid forty dollars for one of them in the middle of the mall phone case to get a girl's number, and she told me she had a boyfriend. I wanted my money back. I was like, See, look, bro. I was like, really? I was like, the end. I said, "Okay, vas a hacer esta noche?" She said, "Oh." uh she said something, something. <laughs> That'd be $40. She said something, something, gone me novio. Oof. We had a homeboy tip a waitress $100 just for just for her to bring her boyfriend. And say thank you together. Because he was a waiter. 
I just wanted thing. my boyfriend to tell you thank you for our t- our rent money. All tip, bro. But we don't know. We don't know what he was trying to do with that. He was just trying to be kind. No, we know exactly. What <laughs> we know exactly, what's up. We know exactly yeah. what happened. And yeah, I wanted to. I really wanted to return that phone case, but all sales are final with him at Little Mall. I was like, I should have asked you before. It wasn't. She didn't even find it in person that I that I knew how to say that. Yeah, I mean that's hurt. that's really not that impressive. But anyway, it is if you don't. If you ask me, oh, you must be Dominican. Nah, I'm from Texas. Left <laughs> <laughs> by. Like, like, she's like, oh, who taught you Spanish? I said, I'm trying to find a new teacher. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I just sucked the, I just sucked the oh, lip. That's in the crazy. Nah, really. Why are you acting like that shirt's tight on you? I really, uh... He want to be big. Oh, my God. He said, he said, he said, I really... I, I couldn't stretch, bro. I didn't even stretch my shoulders all <laughs> okay, over. Okay, Why are you eyeballing me, you, man? You're, you're not... You're not, tight shoulders? you're not big to me until your neck look like a ham. When it's <laughs> that thick, I'm like, okay, he taking it too far. I know you. He's going to start injecting in his neck. Whoa. Oh, I come in the shop. You're like, oh, you can come in, bro. And you got the top of your pants pulled down, injecting some of them roids in there. I'm like, fam, I'll just stand out and wait. I don't, <laughs> want, to I don't want to be in there looking at it. Like, I don't know. If Leg posted cool. up on the chair. I, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? I was going to say, I'm so naive. I think you got, you know, a, a condition. So you just giving yourself a shot. I don't know you cheated. No, I wouldn't do that. How big do you want to be? Big enough. As big as the roids allow. That's cool, I, bro. I I just want to be bigger than what I am now. You are really big now for your uh, okay, my for stature. Your don't have yeah, for your bill. But I mean, it, it's pretty cool that these are twenty fours. Where? <laughs> oh, them four Giados on here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty cool that you got a hobby. And what's your you hobby? Know, I don't have a hobby, Chris. You well, do you read something. though. Sometimes. Fat, what? Okay, come no, on. Ask bro. me what my hobby is, please. No, no, no. Uh, I, I don't care. But <laughs> it's good. But we, like, you act like we don't know Chris. It's good. We know. Chris. I don't. What, what does he do? What do you do, Chris? What do you What do you like to do? You try. You trying to come to the carne asada, bro? No. Why? That's what oh, I'm saying. Because yeah. he's busy doing what? Bro, uh, I what? know. I know. I'm gonna hear Moreno or Negro. No, nah, it's just fans. It's just, fam, it's just us. And it's I'm just the homies. I'm, I'm at the deal. It's just. It's just fans. Who at the carne asada? Let me know. Just who, us. Who all be there? Just and two. My girl us. and uh, his girl. At the carne or something. At the carne, so we just eat some meat, drink a few cold oh. ones, and then we drop you off at the crib because you don't like drinking after, uh, you don't like driving after one beer. That don't, it don't Which seem. Which is crazy, but it's true. Nah, I don't want to hang out with y'all like that. There ain't nothing but, wrong with it. But it seemed like it'd be fun. It would. What kind of meat y'all put on the pit? I saw them. Yeah. Just, just red meat. Who on the pit? Who on the pit? Who is O N T H E P I T? On the pit. Who laying it down on the pit? Ramsey. Oh, you for real? Ramsey so you the <laughs> <laughs> So you the pit boss, you really can do it. I've been throwing it down. What's your favorite thing to cook? Everything. T bone. I know really, the name T You really getting money out here. <laughs> <laughs> what? What just threw out Jeez, T bone steak? I was I was actually you know before you got, got here today. Before you got here today, I was actually guessing really? in your bank account. How what? He got that new Wi Fi grill. Caleb said you said oh, two hundred. I didn't I didn't <laughs> I didn't know they made those. Fam, we went to Home Depot the other day. They got a wi- a grill that you can control with, like, Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. You, well, you know, you can connect to it. You seen the refrigerator with the tablet on the front? That's yeah. cool, too. That See is really cool. Down. It's cool. Takes over and starts laughing in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing a YouTube like video. Movie, uh, house, or what was it called? Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. A dude, oh, yeah. a dude did that. He hacked somebody's, whatever that thing is that can control, you can... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did. Or did we say something about that? Oh, when he turned the heat up and was playing heavy yeah, metal yeah, music? Yeah. That's wild. I wish I knew how to do stuff like that, bro. That would she, be so funny. She said it felt like she was in pure hell. That would be so funny. Imagine somebody, I don't know if he locked the doors of the house, but imagine you locked in your house, somebody turned the AC up to 80-something, and they blasting heavy metal music. And you just can't leave. Like the heavy metal that sound like they got something that feel like old people ah. leaving that movie. You know how them old people sound to eat at Lubis? Like, yeah. He would just, you just blast <laughs> him. You just, my old people make me sick. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> can I, can I like preface that? Old people don't make me sick, 
But when I'm eating and they coughing and snotting, that really does. I just don't I got like weak, it. I got a weak stomach, though. When they stare at you so much. And they're entitled, too, so they can keep staring at you, and you got to look away. And it's like, man, like. Can you find something else to look at? Yeah, bro. I ain't never really been stared at. No, nah, I like that. Right. Well, that I mean, you ain't, you ain't got the I mean, if tools, I'm, but. Maybe that's what they <laughs> staring at. <laughs> They stand at them tree trunks. <laughs> this guy, I swear to God, this guy think he's more than. See, they're like, and you done messed around and hyped him up. No, nah, no. Nah, look, I'm not big at all. I he's know not. I'm not. I, but I keep telling y'all this. Uh, you really are. Hey, I'm not lying to bro, you. Bro, he is your average size. Look at this. What's, what's, what's big about that? No, that's. Nothing. That's. Hey, hey, take hey, your jacket off, Kale. Take your jacket off, Kale. Shut the guns. This is my pump cover. Shut the guns. Go ahead and shut it off. Because I'm not. I'm humble. I'm humble. I'm humble. I'm humble. I ain't got to show what I'm working with. You can look at it. There's no underneath this. It's rock hard. Rock hard flat. Double chin. You That's can all look right. you can look at him. You can look at him and tell you see what I see? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we probably got the same stomach. If you I mean you can look at him and tell he's stocky. He's not. Uh, do I got a true build though? Do I do He's do he's I? stock file paperwork. You gotta wear a tank top with them shorts for us to like really see. You gotta do like the calf pose and all of that. Yeah, yeah. How your calves looking? Because you're not answering that. They they're all right. Pull your pants up, let me see. I mean, I wouldn't say they just like flex. Well, oh, you got some weight back there. Yeah. Man, I know a couple of females. I'm pushing a little something. Hey, I know a couple of females with cats. But yeah, you doing it. <laughs> who? You doing what gym you go fan, to? Fan, you don't need to talk about him. No, who? Let me see. It, uh, fan, All right. <laughs> what? What? I was just trying to see. You insecure now. Nah, bro. But I, was I mean, just, I just, you just grabbed it. I was trying to measure your calves again for good measure. That's all. I mean, if you really built like that, what you shy about? Yeah, what you shy about, right? I mean, I'm not, bro, but Chris, you just Chris, grabbed don't it. Don't grab you, my calf, huh? you, you, <laughs> Bring it in. Let me see what you got. I ain't scared by shit. No. See? Flab. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I felt a lot of weight in there, low key. That's what I'm saying, baby. You ain't working with nothing. Hey, I guess I'm How not, How much you man. squat, you think? Who thinks squat more, you or him? Me? At least 950. <laughs> <laughs> That's my car. What about you? $9.50. Huh? What you, what you squatting? You know I be pushing some. You sound like a weak nigga shit, right? What you squatting? You just said pushing something. What you squatting? I'll probably hit a good... On a good day, I'll probably hit a good... Maybe... 360. (laughs) A good four times. I mean, that's a lot of weight, I assume. That's a lot of weight. Three... You said what? 360. Nah, that's a lot. Chris Chris, Chris mess with girls heavier than that. I can bench press you right now. Can we do it? On camera? On camera. Okay. How we gonna do it? Chill, chill, chill. Just, Fam, I, lay, play, I lay on the table and you just I, jump on me. Genuinely, if and you can bench press him right now, I slide $100 to you. On the table right now. Go. Who's we'll getting $100? Clear the, the mics. The clear the mics. <laughs> clear the mics. <laughs> I want to see Me, because I'm working. I want to see you bench press him on this table. I just, just got to get a good, like, hold. That's it. Let's do it. Like, Wait. your crotch. I don't even think we got time for Just, Just grab the camera and put it on. Just, just take the camera off right now. I'm not paying you at all. I'm not paying anybody. Out. I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious. But we'll I'm, save it for I'm, the next episode. I'm, I'm gonna, hey, I'm, are we done? Factor we'll cap this next, next episode. One. Yeah, that's factor cap. All right, thank yeah. you guys. As always, it's a blessing for us to be here. It's a blessing for y'all to be here with us. Thank you guys for hanging out, and we hope you enjoyed the show half as much as we enjoy doing it. Be good to yourselves and enjoy the rest of your life. Peace. Peace.